Beneath the moonlit forest, embers of compassion battling against the blaze. Like, share and subscribe for more inspiring stories. Happy reading! In the heart of a winter evening, when the air was crisp and the moon shined brilliantly, a girl called Manur found herself standing on the balcony of her home, staring into the depths of the surrounding forest. A tragedy had struck as the fire burned through the woods, endangering the life that lived there and the delicate balance of nature. With a heavy heart and firm conviction, Manur realized she had to act. Hesitation grabbed her at first, as she recalled the sound of the leopard's roars resonating in her head from the last night. The darkness that enveloped the woodland only added to her uneasiness. But when Manur's eyes swept the horizon, she noticed a glimmer of hope, a region where the fire was not as ferocious. The sight inspired her passion to preserve the animals who called the forest their home. She knew she had to act quickly, but she had never faced such a situation before. Although it was habitual for some of her ignorant village folks to set the forest on fire in winter only this time Manur felt that she could redeem the forest from the claws of human-induced calamity. The ants, birds, plants, and other creatures were innocent victims, and Manur's heart couldn't endure the sight of their misery. Overcoming her dread, Manu recollected her resolve. She proceeded on her solitary quest. She couldn't decide what to do. Suddenly, she saw a heavy wooden plank which couldn't be burnt easily and she decided that she would take it and place it over the fire where it was less dense. In this way, she could cut off the oxygen supply. Clutching the wooden board, she proceeded into the inky darkness, led by the faint glimmer of stars, moonlight, and the burning embers in the distance. With each stride, her determination became stronger. It was reinforced by her passion to preserve the natural environment. She knew that Allah has sent people on this planet to act as a blessing for its inhabitant, not a calamity. As she reached the flames, her heart raced. The intensity of the flames danced before her, their crackling screams reaching out to her soul. With firm hands, Manu approached the fire where it was less intense, ready to confront the agony that endangered the forest. It looked awful. She skillfully placed the hefty wooden board over the edges of the fire, attempting to slow its relentless progress. In the middle of her efforts, calamity struck. In a rapid instant, while she was busy fighting the fire, her phone slid from her pocket and fell onto the ground. She realized it after she had successfully put off the fire, but now it was all dark and she couldn't locate it. Panic was making its way to her heart as darkness cloaked her, turning her sightless. She had often faced times like this. She had known what to do. She placed her trust in the best of the helper's help. She fumbled across the chilly ground. She knew that she was never disappointed whenever she relied on Allah. Therefore, just like always, a lovely wind murmured through the woodland. It heralded hope and whispered of divine intervention. Then, guided by her creator, her fingertips brushed upon her phone, safe and unharmed, lying a few inches away from the smoldering embers. Grateful for the unexpected support, she stopped to give her quiet appreciation to Allah. As she decided to go back to her home, a bunch of youngsters came to the site, evidently a group to put out the fire. Their eyes widened in shock as they studied the quenched flames. Puzzled, they exchanged looks, and a giggle filled their faces. It seems the fire sensed our arrival and decided to retreat, one of them jested, 
laughter filling the air. Hiding behind a bush, Manur held her breath. Her heart raced in her chest. Her phone's screen unexpectedly lighted, putting a slight illumination across her face. Yet, fate favored her, and the lads remained ignorant, with their backs turned away. She discreetly gave her appreciation to Allah for this stroke of luck, realizing that it was only because of Allah's help that her secrecy remained protected. She didn't need unwanted attention as her act was solely for Allah, out of her love for nature, not to get any praise from the creation. She understood that seeking validation is such a quagmire that engulfs you slowly. With the fire quenched and the guys none the wiser, Manu resumed her way back home, navigating the darkness without the use of her phone's flashlight. She trod gently, averting the attention of her neighbors, well aware of the assumptions and judgments that would be placed upon her if she were to be discovered. People these days were quick to make judgments. In this world of ignorance, people misinterpreted the motives of others frequently, and she did not want to fall prey to their skewed preconceptions. As Manur went through the gloomy scenery, her thoughts dwelt on the ignorance that afflicted her hamlet. The woodland was a victim of repeated acts of devastation, motivated by those seeking temporary profits. They thought that burning the parched grass would cause lush vegetation to sprout in the spring. It would then provide ample fodder for their livestock. They deemed half-burnt trees as a useful supply of fuel. Manur pondered how these folks would account for the horrific massacre they had caused, both to nature and to their own souls. How would they face their creator? Questions of responsibility weighed heavy on Manur's heart as she trod softly, her mind preoccupied with the gravity of such menacing deeds. Although she had doused the fire, much of the jungle had been burnt. She pondered if people who had set fire to the forest would escape the wrath of the hellfire on the Day of Judgment. In her own modest way, she had endeavored to be the preserver of nature, propelled by her love for Allah's creatures. With every step, Manur felt a feeling of fulfillment, knowing that she had answered the call of her conscience. The account of her trek would be buried in her heart, a legend of the power of one individual's unrelenting dedication and selflessness. And so, Manur lived her life, always determined to safeguard the delicate balance of nature and cultivate an understanding among her people. She reminded people of the significance of compassion, courage, and the duty given to humans to maintain the natural environment. Thank you for reading. 